Greetings to you, beautiful soul. Thank you for tuning in. May all be well with you. I hope that we get some wonderful messages for your money. And remember to view these messages as your entertainment for the day. Um, take the messages that apply to you. You could find some in here, I guess, that is able to help you on your journey. So thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and all of your contribution and support on this channel is abundantly appreciated. And may you see love and support returning to you in your life as well. So let's get started. I'm currently shuffling. The hermit card is flowed out. We just saw the hermit card in your love message. Bat biting. So the hermit card so this is someone that was um betraying you behind your back they were keeping something from you they were like shutting the light closing down the light the light is like the truth here the tower card and i feel it has something to do with your digestion in some way so this could be about the food that you were eating the information you were whatever you were consuming someone was like secretly making you cons give uh, like feeding you something right but it wasn't for your best self it could have been to literally block you here to cloud your judgment to make you confused to make you feel weak and dependent upon them someone was literally messing with someone's system i'm um, getting water energy we have the ten of wands and the king of diamonds and someone does not want the truth to come out so they were trying to i hear ridicule you they were trying to um uh, humiliate you disgrace you that's what they were trying to do uh, make you struggle and suffer because they were literally trying to block you here trying to make you have miserable times because it was for their best interest that they do that to you maybe trying to make you like appear that you're not you know right in the head trying to make it seem like you're a nobody take away your stripes take away your credit to completely bring you down and this person they don't know you this person they don't know you for true this is the king of swords they don't like they shouldn't play with you they're even trying to block your dreams because your dreams are revelations your dreams are real life your dream is to point out to you what these people are doing behind in the dark that is why they are so intimidated by you because they feel like you're tapping into spaces and then you're saying things and they feel like you shouldn't so they they sneakingly devise plans to come around and to block you and to ruin you and i feel like they've done this before to other people but i'm guessing these people they don't know me they don't know you is the energy and for some they wanted to send people behind bars as well with the eight of cups on the table you some you like saved yourself you protected yourself um what i feel like when someone thought that they would ruin you you ended up like not being ruined you ended up like saving yourself you end up remaining protected um, you're smart, but I'm not saying it wasn't tough because they did send the spiritual attacks and the black this and the that into your life. This is the message that is coming up for you today. This is like a whole bunch of truth and um, to, for you to be aware of if you were feeling a sort of darkness, loom and gloom around you. It was this this person that was um, doing devising this here. They never wanted you to know. They never wanted the truth to come out. The sun on the bottom of the deck. Look. Sun card. They did not want the sun to peek out and shine. You see when we expose this. The sun. They're like so afraid. They're afraid. When when everything is covered up. They feel safer. They're like. ah, Everything is covered up now. I can rest in the dark. They're like. You know how cockroaches love like little being in dark crevices but they also like the comfort of it they like it to be a little bit damp and they like it to be like like dirt yeah these people like hiding in those spaces like it makes them comfortable it makes them feel ease and relax here if the little sun come out they're afraid if if they feel little sun um because they could be vampires i hear alien vampires so the little sun come out and they they they're like oh my god little sun is coming in we've got to block that out move quickly and they they go find some more mud 
and block it up right and then they go ah i'm safe again yeah i'm telling you these were these these people they didn't like the sun coming out at all so one day they were thinking to themselves where is this sun coming from what's going on what's what's i'm threading threading in my safety so they decided to come and find you okay yeah the source of the sun to come get the sun See, whatever is happening it is a must the re this revelation this new start is something that must happen in your life your abundance must come in you must be released you must be set free you must shine it's something that has to happen like i was saying they weren't get betting on it for some reason they thought that this was what's up so the sun card and the chariot someone did not expect your light to shine you're an angel they didn't know that you're an angel so they were surprised they were surprised yeah now they're upset this could be someone you were working with now they wanted to send like negative energy your way now they wanted to like blame you of things i hear grant so that could be someone's name yeah now they wanted to throw you off balance now they wanted to take their energy their frustrations out on you but you send it back because you do not fear you have no fear you're just doing what you do you're just doing your work you're serving your purpose right and you're not this is nothing personal you're just doing what you do you're making your money or do you're juggling you're hustling but this person is thinking what you're doing is offensive to them in some way they're really angry this person may have some type of an inflammation as well and it makes them mad that they alone have to be dealing with their own inflammation and they alone have to be dealing with their own this and they alone doing with that and you're over here like the six of wands even though they're the king of wands you're the six of wands you seem to be more free and happy progressive and prosperous and less inflamed than this person so now they're looking at you and wanting to target you upset at you but that is not going to happen you're going to show this person a different way a new way right so all they're just they're gonna try and to come at you like they're your rivals and you're not fighting back with them you are not so now they're like fussing and fighting with themselves you keep working on yourself making your money um you're gonna plant some yam or some food or someone was a yam either. that means you are like what they call a simp for a man mm -hmm. all right yeah because i feel like you're getting you're blazing fire you're so attractive someone is jealous someone is jealous of you someone may be jealous of your education your rights your freedom your prosperity your your successes your investments your 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 accomplishments your joy your your independence yeah and they're, they they want to take that out on you their frustration they're trying to make you their target but they cannot it's just not happening. You're just shining back to this person that they are trying to project onto you and reflect their feelings onto you. And they really don't like that. They don't like that every time they try to project onto you to make you feel little, to make you feel small, to make you feel broken. You are still powerful. And it makes them feel like, oh, it must be me then. And they don't like when they feel like something must be wrong with them. And they need to look into themselves here. Right, so they were trying to mess with your money, but I feel like this person may be like running out of money and going broke trying to mess with your money because they're so caught up. They're so caught up. This could even be lost. Looking at the King of Wands, the Six of Swords, this is the King of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Six up, tied up, tangled up in your vibration, and they're like really super upset, mad, jealous, irritated. This could be one person, this could be a number of people, right? that are trying to get your attention are trying to rope you in like trying to compare themselves to you but you're just really unfazed i'm not joking you're good you could be a capricorn or you're dealing with a capricorn i mean or you're self-sufficient you're independent you rely on yourself you're just you feel happy inside out you're living well you're eating well you're making yourself um happy right yeah the king of cups and this person they did not realize that there's gonna be something or someone new for you that's gonna like lift you up and love you choose you protect you this king of cups energy here you're emotionally grounded and emotionally balanced you're also very royal and wealthy 
and then when this person is looking at you they're like hmm she's like you're so safe and you've got what you've got and they don't even know where you've come from or how hard you've worked and hustled to get to where you seem to be in their eyes if these people would just go focus on themselves and love themselves they give you so much attention and you see all this attention that they're giving you you're you're turning it into power and that is what is making you more successful the knight of wands yeah they wanted to take their frustration and their energy out on you because they couldn't have you they couldn't have your place they couldn't have what you have i'm telling you that and you're so beautiful you're really attractive like when you try or you put an effort in or like say you just wear slippers and a shorts outside oh my god wow you don't like you don't even have to try because sometimes you're like all dressed up and you look independent you look um sophisticated hard at work and then sometimes we see you looking casual in your slippers and shorts and that time it's like whoa I'm telling you, there are a lot of people around you, like, they feel jealous of you, off of your accomplishments. Um, you're just beautiful as well. You're so vibrant. Your eyelashes are beautiful. Your eyes, your nose, your lips, like, you have spark within you. You have blush under your skin. You have heat under your skin. You're glowing. You may even look like you're getting younger. And this person that they don't know, they feel they feel like they may be feeling like you're draining them or you drain their money or you're taking from them. But I feel like you are not. You're literally just generating from the soul up, from the earth up. You're building yourself up. This person, they're coming to a realization now that they need to like control their energy around you because you're so unbothered is the energy, right? This person is like even beginning to learn from you. Your enemies are learning from you. Knight of Cups. Now they want to cool down. You know what I'm saying? And this may drain you sometimes. Like I know I say that you, you're you strong and it does not phase you. But sometimes when you really think about it. Because you can't see the truth. You know the truth. You can't feel the truth. You can't feel the energy. Sometimes it may get to you for true. And you're like you have to go. <sighs> but then you go pick yourself back up again. You get busy. You do something. You feel good. And these people, they don't even realize how much it affects you because you go feel good and then it makes them even more upset. But you see, the more you continue feeling good and preserving your energy and loving you and, you know, investing in your, your body, your thoughts, your spirits, your mind, working on your money, your sense of stability, your security, it's going to like continue to inspire them. So don't be discouraged. All right, we have the Eight of Swords. You're going to get your sleep or your dreams back, whatever that is your vision. You're gonna, Things are going to return to you. I feel like there was a witch somewhere that was doing like seances and spells like in the air in some way, in the spirit, right? All right. So, yeah, tell you you're going to get everything back, your vision back multiplied. And the sun card is on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be celebrating today. You're saying, yes, sir. Uh, of some type of a restoration in your abundance, in your money, in your mind, in your spirit. Whatever was lacking, whatever was lost, is returned unto you tenfold here. And it is not stoppable. And it's something that is coming in, in in like good amount of time. And it's something that is stable, substantial, that you've developed and worked hard to invest in. So you're going to be saying cel good, good celebrations today. Like a yes, triumph, success. And I have several cards confirming that. So watch out for the heat. There could be a fire. Love yourself. Hydrate. Take it easy with yourself. Feed your body nutritious, delicious food. Something about your home. And a lot of, I hear graduation and multiplication of your money, multiplication of your income. And you receiving it and maintaining it. And you, you're going to keep growing substantially. Alright, so love you. Take it easy out there. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. And I'll catch you in the next one, beautiful soul. Much love.